Okay. Yeah, I, I, I actually think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to wrap this. Um, so I'm going to use the very aggressive edge. Um, it's going to be able to keep me, let me keep a, a line a little bit better. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll try that. No, that's gonna take too long. I think I'm gonna I am gonna try the saws though. Yeah. Okay, so that was gonna take quite a while. Now if you are not familiar with uh, being very precise with saws and stuff like that, I suggest staying with that. It will do the job. It's just going to take a lot longer. But right now I kind of feel that I can just get the, the bigger part of. I'm just taking off like a blade width at a time. Now I'm going to steepen that angle a little bit and take off a little bit off that edge. going to continue on for like a while so we're just going to slowly round this and uh, you know we're going to start on these angles and then we're going to slowly work a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more we got to figure out a better way of holding this so might have to get my trusty wife to <laughs> help out it um,
so I've got this side done now. Um, now I got a little bit, you know, kind of into it, and I carved out this rounded piece here. But you can still see I have a line to go by, right? Just a little bit. I probably should have left that uh, just to use as a guide, but I'll wrap it through, and that'll be fine. So. I used the sawzall for this side. I actually think I'm going to switch up um, what I'm using again, and I am going to switch to a jigsaw. Uh, now, the thing is, is that um, this jigsaw has kind of a, a steel plate on here that is really in the way. Um, when it comes to carving, like uh, later on in, in these episodes, you're going to learn how to carve wood. And I use a lot of different tools in a lot of different ways. Like you, you saw with the Saza, you know, like bending the blade and stuff like that. Um, even the, uh, the sander. Um, this is 40 grit. It uh, gives me a corner to work with, with this soft stuff. Um, and you can take off a lot of material with, you know, but it's just belt sander cut to fit, uh, cut with an exacto knife, um, and it seems to last a long time, especially against something like this. Um, you know, using the uh, the Dremel uh, to go down that three eighths of an inch, or well, I, I went about a quarter, not quite all the way, but uh, yeah, if you want to get a shot of that. And uh, so yeah, so you, you're going to use, I even have a sawzall blade, you know, just on hand. So if I wanted to take a spot like this, and I wanted to shave that, you know, it really doesn't take that long. It's just a quick little file, more or less. And it's done, right? So I'm going to get at this side, but I am going to take off this plate. So that I, I can maneuver this better. And the reason I'm actually using this is because this has a lock. Because I'm going to be grabbing the tool all over pretty much. And uh, the Sawzaw does not have a lock button where it stays on. Because if it did, I would actually grab it mid-range. And use it, you know, kind of lightsaber-ish. Uh, just to shave off little parts, but it, it's way out here and when I have to hold it Well, that's you know a big long weight with a flappy blade Well, if I can use this, you know It, it should be able to shave it better with uh, a little bit more precision. So that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take off this plate and just run out of the blade 